Hello, travelers. I'm wheelchair Jimmy, and I'm rolling through Las Vegas, Nevada today, and I have again stopped at the Caesars Palace, which I'll continue to say is a property to avoid for a lot of reasons. Number one, to access one of the main shopping corridors from the casino, you must enter a small side room and use the attached wall phone to call someone to come and operate a small wheelchair hydraulic lift. You cannot operate it independently. Number two, there are many steps in Caesars which are often ramped, but not always, which is really inconvenient. Number three, from the main entrance off Las Vegas Boulevard, I couldn't find my way to the conference center and ballrooms. You know, as you can see in the background, there were four huge escalators, but no nearby elevators. I searched, I even asked for assistance, nothing. Number four, while many of the common area restrooms have been made wheelchair accessible, they are simply older and not always fully ADA compliant. Number five, the casino game tables were at normal height and reasonably accessible, but none, none were specifically lowered for wheelchair access. And the slot machines had heavy metal seat bases, and, and while removable, they were really heavy. I needed assistance. And number six, the casino is very smoky. <laughs> Not for me. So while the casino, restaurants, and retail stores are generally accessible, it's often difficult to navigate on a timely basis due to the steps and that small hydraulic lift. On the WGR Index, while well, Caesars Palace retains its two rating, and for my money, should be avoided. There are so many better options and opportunities in Las Vegas. Roll on, travelers!